Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have your own reading, Sagittarius. And so we have your oracle spread here as we do, right? And uh, mm -hmm, we start with focus, right? And this reading could be switched. This could be yours or their reading. But we start with focus. We have pleasure. Somebody's focusing on the pleasure. When they get to the top of the stairs, Sagittarius, I feel like you'll be standing here, right? The deer, the beautiful deer is here. Mm hmm. Yeah. And uh, all these uh, kind of flowers and beauty is here. And uh, mm hmm. And somebody's focusing unless you're doing this. We have the last day in the light. Right. And so we have the the little van uh, vampiritas, right? The little vampires. And uh, she is, you know, uh, the last day in the light. They're showing her bleach blonde hair. They're trying to be cute here. Right. But this talks about sudden endings or unexpected endings, surprise changes and sudden shifts. Somebody's ending something in this reading, in my belief, in my opinion, because, or whatever, right? She who aches, this is sadness and solitude. Yeah, and this lady sitting out in the cold, and she's very unhappy, right? I feel like somebody here is focusing on pleasure, so they're your person, so they are ending, or you're doing it, so they are ending their own situation. Yeah, whatever that is, or, you know, leaving... Uh, you know, some major career, they're leaving their immediate family, they're saying, I got to grow up and go be, and move to, you know, move to wherever you're at, or they're leaving a person. We have thirst, and this is craving, compulsion, and obsession. So this person is obsessed with you, or they are craving you, right? It's better to say craving, right? But, you know, obsession is always supposed to kind of, uh, is always supposed to kind of imply something negative, but if you've been wishing, I feel like this person's been wishing for this. I feel like they have. So I don't know if you should really kind of call it obsession. Definitely it's craving, right? Uh, so bad. They're so thirsty for you, Sagittarius, that, you know, uh, they're kind of, their their mouths, or their, their lips are so chapped that they're bleeding. Yeah, and they are. And uh, mm -hmm, their eyes are kind of bloodshot here and uh, not looking good. The cone of power and the nemesis is here. Yes, it's a very cool... This cone of power is uh, very much like, very much like the magician. It is, and somebody has their cone of power, and this is whoever is coming forward, right? Let's see if I can find this little booklet here. Uh, maybe I can't, right? Yeah, I don't feel like I can. No. Uh, oh, it's in the house. This is fine because uh, we know what this is. Actually, it's supposed to be out here. Where the hell is it, right? Yeah, let's see. Oh, here it is. Oh, let's look at these cards, though, you guys. So the cone of power is here, right? And it looks like a TP kind of, but it's the cone. We see the feather, the candle, the cup, and the pentacle. So this is, you know, very much the, the feather is the sword here, right? Mm -hmm. But let's look at this, uh, the nemesis. This is somebody who has learned lessons. Yeah, and they could have, the, somebody here learned lessons, and they could be sad because there's some type of an ending. Because I feel like as, you know, as I always say in the reading, Sagittarius, these oracle cards come out in the order that the story is being told. Yeah, I, you know, I, I didn't do it. I just, you know, said I'm going to use these uh, four oracle decks here today and uh, see what happens. That's how I always do it, right? And so this is like, you know, this is supposed to be here, these cards. And let's look at the nemesis, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting how we used to say the nemesis is kind of a troublemaker, something like that, uh, when we were young. This is lessons, karma, and destiny. And the powers of truth will prevail. Yeah, the powers of truth that somebody loves you here. And that they are focused on this new beginning because it's going to bring them so much pleasure. That's what's going on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing going on but the truth, right? Mm-hmm. And this is Nemesis is the goddess of retribution, like payback, kind of, right? Of forces that come into play when we need to be steered back to a wiser course. Yeah, wow. Mm-hmm. Anything retro, right? She shows us that we must take responsibility for all our negative thoughts, words, and deeds and understand the effect that they may have on others. It's possible your person's leaving somebody here and they are like... It's possible they could also be taking responsibility for anything mean they have said to you. Because even if they are not ending, there's sometimes a sudden ending right here. The last day in the light. 
unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts, right? And that's what somebody's focusing on because this ending is going to bring somebody pleasure, your person or you, right? And so this lessons card, the symbols she holds indicate her wish to cleanse the human form in preparation for bringing it back to love and wisdom. Yeah, they want to bring this back, Sagittarius, right? Mm -hmm, to love. And the wisdom is here, but this person has regret or something like that. But they have learned. Yeah, they have. Good, because nobody wants a, you know, a, a, nim, a nimwit. No, they don't. A nemesis visiting you is a sign that she has witnessed what's been happening around you. She stands as guardian in order to offer protection and acknowledgement of some form of injustice. You see what I mean? There could be guilt here, but they're acknowledging what they've done wrong and that they have learned. Pray to her for illumination. Well, this person already prayed, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Life sometimes, or it could be you, Sagittarius. The reading could be switched. Life sometimes has to go pear-shaped in order for the rightness to emerge. You are in the process of helping someone or something to emerge into their own light or into their own truth, and the truth will shortly be revealed, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wait and watch as things unfold. If you are asking a specific question, Nemesis indicates that the answer points to a negative. This is not a time to act. Learn and take this opportunity to, to grow. I feel like this person has already grown. I feel like they have. Whoever's coming here has already grown. Uh, not grown. Okay, God. Yeah, they've already grown, but they, they knew that it's a time for me to keep quiet and just learn the lessons. Like, it's a time for me not, like, let me sit here and learn. Let me sit here and gain this wisdom, kind of. Yeah. And then we have these two cards with these women. And this is She Who Aches. This is Perpetua. And uh, this is like, you know, somebody who is kind of, it, it has to do with forever, perpetual, right? Sadness, solitude, silent, and withdrawal. She who aches. And she who battles. Uh, and this is justice, fierce, and commitment. This person's fighting for your love here. And they're sorry for what they did. But there could be somebody else here that is in solitude as well. It just depends. I'm not sure about that. But it does look like that with this last day in the light. Unexpected endings. Surprise changes and sudden shifts, right? And so, all because this person knows, Sagittarius, that they love you and what they did was wrong to you, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and uh, they're missing you big time with this craving and this thirst card. And we see the pleasure here. And if you can see here, we have the, I don't know what they call that, the archway. Uh, it's kind of like a gazebo, but I feel like what they, I, I forget what they call that. But here are the steps leading up to this beautiful new beginning. And here we have uh, the dove, not the dove, the deer. So let's get into it right now uh, for you, Sagittarius, and for your person, for you. Yeah, the other reading will be their reading. It will. I'm already uh, wanting to see it. Yes, I am. So let's see what we have. And let's grab some, let's grab some uh, regular tarot cards. Let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. Yeah, we're going to use this deck today. We are. Mm -hmm. Let's get a couple shuffles in for Sagittarius. And this reading too could be this reading up here, the uh, the tarot here. This person's coming for a commitment because it's the last card, right? They're coming for a commitment. They're going to fight for this. They feel like this is their justice or this is their truth. Yes, they do. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's see. And it's really interesting here because as I always say, you guys, the focus is the first card. And they're focusing on this commitment with you. Yes, they are. Just love how that kind of just comes out the right way, right? Let's see what we have. Or seemingly so, for sure. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. And uh, mm -hmm. the bottom of this deck is Judgment. It sure is. Let's see what else we have. For Sagittarius. The little squirrels here. King of Swords. This could be your person's reading, as I said. Because clearly this is about you and them. Here is the king taking the sword for a renewal. He's grabbing the sword, right? It's being offered. The page of wands, this is a renewal, a new direction. It is, and this person's coming here. The hermit, maybe they are Virgo. Let's see what else we have. But this Virgo, that's the hermit is all about searching for the truth or what they believe is their truth. Yeah. 
and you are their true Sagittarius because this is spiritual and they know this and this person knows in this reading that you're their soulmate there's no doubt here they learned the hard way right yeah they did I and they might have had to hurt somebody here as well so we have the hierophant showing up yeah they could be they could be married to somebody they could uh the full card showing up here the five of wands reversed mm -hmm. we have judgment again and this is how you are affecting this person they're bringing you a rebirth and they are making this decision it's a final judgment right it's final sagittarius because justice over here she who battles they're fighting for this, for this commitment they are. Let's see what else we have. You could be saying, wow, right? Let's see what else we have. We have the Ten of Cups. That's going to be your hopes and fears. Could be theirs. The King of Wands showing up here. I just feel like this is kind of their reading. And maybe this is you and this person, this Hermit, this King of Wands. Maybe this is uh, your person could be Taurus. <coughs> they could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Pisces, Scorpio here. Aries here. And uh, judgment is Scorpio as well, but they could be any other sign. They could. So let's see what we have. Right? Let's get a card on the heart of the matter for Sagittarius, right? Or your person. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this reading's real clear here. Here they are making this decision for a renewal, and the woman's handing the knight a cup. Wow, this is like coming soon to a theater of Sagittarius. <coughs> And the hermit showing up with the wheel of fortune. This is reversed here. Uh oh. And this could be what you want or what they want or what they're expecting. That's why sometimes this talks about what somebody, uh, what they want if they do something that is kind of expected or something like, or what they expect will happen kind of if kind of like if they reach for what they want it just depends really but it can it talks about a couple different energies here let's get another card and uh mm -hmm. maybe you wanted this person to find their wisdom sagittarius and they have here's the hermit he found the star he's placing it into the lantern he's placing the light right the light is wisdom power and light right yeah the wisdom and so Yes, the understanding, right? Uh, a spiritual awakening, raising your, your 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 consciousness, right? The wheel of fortune reverse, six of swords. Mm -hmm. You could be expecting that if this person kind of wakes up spiritually, that they would get into, they would be in transition towards you. I mean, this could be like a major general, right? Like a general gist kind of. Well, I feel like, you know, uh, if, you know, my person kind of, understands i believe that i'm a soulmate here that they will be in transition and that's what's happening i feel like this is what you want but this is what they are doing here yeah and so the high priestess showing up coming into play right and let's see what it says with the four of wands yeah this this is you knowing that they're coming that they're coming for a commitment four of wands to have something stable with you these people are i don't know if they got married or not but this is a celebration and these people are kind of i feel like they got married and the other people are saying you know goodbye and have a great life and you know they they, they left the castle here uh they left the celebration or the wedding but you know this high priestess this is coming into play somebody's trust this person is trusting their intuition that that you're everything and that's what this cone of power talks about let's talk about it because i didn't really i just said it's the magician right which is somebody very powerful but you know only with their intuition you can't be the. it's hard to be the magician if you don't trust your intuition yes it is the solar plexus chakra energy focus and concentration yeah they're focusing on this because they have learned their lessons and the first card is focus Energy is focused and activated. The cone of power is a term used to signify building up a force of conscious energy and then sending it to something requiring attention. 
yeah this is what they are doing wow this person is like building up this 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 higher consciousness kind of or this like this meditation right this hope this these uh what do you call those affirmations this person is saying like they're dreaming about you and they're hoping that this energy will send send you to them or that you will receive them wow this could be a healing cone a protective cone or creative cone i feel like it's all that's all of the above in fact any form of energy the dunce's hat yeah it's a dunce's hat you guys know what a dunce is right uh wow it says here the dunce's hat for example was intended to energize the mind i feel like back in my day the dunce was when somebody called you a dunce you were really dumb that's why it sounds like du right <laughs> the witch's hat also takes its shape from the cone the cone of power signifies you have energy at your disposal and that this can be utilized for the highest good focus on your intentions feed any creative flames with positive affirmations like i said and consider what you may like to give to others to help them on their path mm -hmm. if things have become too serious or intense in your life find places and situations that will feed and nourish you yeah that's what this person is doing look also at the possibility that you are taking from life without giving back be mindful mm -hmm. interesting here but i feel like this person maybe did this in the past i don't feel like they're doing this now like the negative part here right and i also feel like this person you know when they talk about the dunce sagittarius right i feel like in the past the dunce for example was intended to energize the mind it could be like wake up go put the dunce's hat on and, and let's energize your mind let's make you think let's make you uh Let's make you wake up, right? Yeah, really interesting here. I feel like it is. So let's continue here with this reading. And part of the past is the Hierophant. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And this person already decided. Remember, Sagittarius, this King of Swords take it, grabbing the sword for the decision, right? Is to have a new beginning with you. They, this person wants a commitment like a marriage they already decided because remember the last card here is about she who battles justice fierce and commitment so we have the fool here this is coming soon and the seven of cups yeah this is this person they're they're covering their eyes here and uh you know this person i believe made this decision in the past but i feel like now they are activating it and that said that's what that cone of power talks about activating your power and your energy and that's what they're doing the seven of cups here he's covering his eyes like oh god and all these cups are empty now like i've already made my choice and i hope that when i wake up it's going to be Sagittarius, like in my arms or, you know, in my life or letting me come back. There's some type of let me return in this reading. There's some type of uh, like I learned and let me let me return or let me make it up to you or let's start all over. It's some energy like that. And so here's the five of wands. It's reversed. I'll be honest. Let's go have a look at that five of wands reversed. Mm hmm. And so this is typically about competition. It doesn't have to, always have to be, no. Uh, and it could be about somebody who's been struggling, right? Let's see what they have to say here with the five of wands reversed. Mm -hmm. This is quarrels, fights, and this is how other people are affecting you or this person. This person's fighting with somebody, I believe, possibly. Quarrels, fights, clashes, strife. See, they could be struggling, power struggles disputes litigation legal proceedings stalled in committee maybe this person's going to court possibly uh, mm -hmm. we have justice on one of these cards here judgment is how you are affecting them right let's see what else it says about the five of wands strength in numbers the five of wands reveals the need for discipline and resolve yeah well they've learned discipline with this lessons and this nemesis they have learned their lessons sagittarius whatever they did because they're focusing on joy and happiness and a commitment with you they are wow let's get a card on on the five of wands reverse let's see what that's about we have the two of swords 
Yeah, I just feel like, you know, this could be how other people are affecting your person or you. You might feel here that you want this person to... You could know they're fighting with somebody that they're ending a situation with here. This first last day in the light. You could, uh, mm -hmm, this is usually how you are affected by somebody else here. I feel like what this means with the two of swords is that this person, they put the swords down. Like, they don't want to fight with you anymore. They want to heal this. And this could be they're fighting with somebody else, though. It could be in, with the way that card is there. And so, uh, we have Sagittarius judgment, and this is how you uh, affect this person. They're coming. They're making this decision to have this right here, the King of Swords. And they're coming for a rebirth, right? Mm -hmm. And they're coming for forgiveness. Yeah, because of what I said about this, some type of take me back, right? I love you. I'm sorry. Some type of energy like that here. And we have the Ten of Cups. This is what you are. This is your hopes and fears. It could be their hopes and fears, right? Let's get a card here. You're hoping this person's going to like hang with you till the end, right? Till the wheels fall off, Sagittarius, right? And so this is your hopes and fears, and you're, they're going to make plans with you. Yeah, this is a trip here. This Ten of Wands is making plans. Here's the contractors drawing up plans, but you're hoping they're going to make plans with you and that you are their happily ever after, and they're going to stick with you through thick and thin. And I feel like they are. This person could be hoping that too because of these lessons, the nemesis. And in the outcome... King of Wands. Let's get a card on that. With the Eight of Cups. This is abandonment here. And they're not abandoning you, Sagittarius. No, they're not, in case you're not really listening to the reading. <laughs> they are abandoning something else. They are. That's why we have sudden, sh unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. They're abandoning some type of situation. You could be hoping that they're doing this, though. You could. So let's see here. Uh, we're going to start the gypsy spread and we're going to complete it in the other reading. We are. Uh, mm -hmm. And also, um, yeah, we're also going to have a tarot spread on them, right? Before the wind gets too bad out here. It's getting a little late out here. It is. Mm -hmm. Let's just move these cards here. Mm -hmm. let's see what we have. And let's see. Yes, I think I said we're going to have a tarot spread. And this card is the Misfortune card. This is your person's reading. Right now they're going through a tower moment. This is like a disgrace, an ending, a, very, a major shakeup. And remember, we have uh, surprise changes here. Yeah, and we do. And uh, this person is taking their power to come to you. And I believe they're hoping here. In this reading, we don't see a major amount of hope. I feel like uh, we see hope totally. Uh, but let's, we're going to end this reading, Sagittarius, because let's see, let's see what else we have. We see hope. They're really hoping here, but I feel like they're focusing more on coming forward. Like right now, wow, in the past, this is the widower, somebody who accepts an ending or grieves an ending. Mm-hmm, wow. Coming into play a surprise. I'm not kidding. We have the old woman. This is somebody from the past or some wisdom gained. And in the outcome the Lord. We're going to talk about these cards. We're going to clarify them. We usually have like three cards for, you know, each, each card here. This is how we do it over here. And we're going to see how they feel. We're going to see their whole spread Sagittarius and what's unknown. And we're going to look at the dynamic between you. And thank you so much Sagittarius. And I really want to see this reading. I do. They could be asking you for forgiveness because they've learned these lessons, right? And here she is with the third eye on her forehead. Your person has learned big time. Spiritually, they went through an awakening, I'm pretty sure. It's not just I learned because Sagittarius, uh, you know, sent me walking. I don't think it's, 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 that could be part of it. But I feel like this person went through some type of major spiritual awakening with this cone of power and this nemesis here. And judgment, judgment can uh, also be like an awakening, right? And this is how uh, you affect somebody else. You, you put this person through an awakening.
Yes, you did. So we're going to end this. Thank you so much. The link for the extended is below. They're all super affordable. I really want to see it because this is like, this is too good, right? And uh, yeah, thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.